guys, welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun Verma with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy. Today we're gonna to talk about Simvastatin, or its brand name, Zocor. So Simvastatin, what is it for? It's for high cholesterol, right? And now let's go through cholesterol real quick. What is cholesterol? So our heart system and all the blood vessels, it's, it's like an intricate piping system. Anytime you get uh, blockages, that creates a problem. That's what cholesterol is. Over the years of bad diet or genetics, your pipes, your, your different arteries, your veins get blocked. And if they get blocked, then we have problems. We have things like heart attacks that happen. Uh, it's something that happens a, over a long period of time, so it's really about lifestyle. If, if you eat a lot of bad food, then you know, you're know you more susceptible to this, or if you have a genetic disorder. But if you live a very good, clean, healthy lifestyle, and uh, then you're able to kind of ward off a lot of these issues. So what does it really do? It lowers your bad cholesterol, increases your good cholesterol, and decreases your triglycerides, okay? Uh, how do you take this thing? Usually taken once a day, take it at bedtime. Why is that? This is a big caveat because in, in actual pharmacy practice, we see patients taking this in the morning. Cholesterol is made when you go to sleep. While you're awake during the day, your metabolism is burning off cholesterol, so it's not making any. It's when you sleep that you make it. Now, simvastatin kicks in within a few hours. So if you take this thing at 10 a.m., you know, by one o'clock, it's, it's in your blood system, it's doing its thing, but if you're not making cholesterol, it can't prevent the cholesterol from being made. You see, you see where I'm coming from? So best thing to do is to take it at nighttime so while you sleep, the drug does its job, which is exactly what we as pharmacists want. We want the drug to do its job. So you can take it with or without food, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you tend to have a weaker stomach or you have you know stomach problems, then, then take it with food, take it with like your dinner or like a snack if you eat a really, really early dinner. Um, try to try to take it within two hours of, of going to bed. You know, don't take it at like 6 p.m., but you don't really don't go to bed till like midnight. You know, again, you want to get the most out of it. So beyond that, what else should you know? Okay, well, if you have liver disease, this is not a good drug for you. It goes, it gets metabolized through the liver. So please make sure that your doctor knows if you have a liver condition or have a family history of liver conditions so that they can maybe find a different cholesterol medication for you. What about grapefruit juice? You know, from time to time, drugs have these uh, weird idiosyncratic things that about them that, that make them special. And Simvastatin is one of those things where if you love grapefruit juice, maybe this drug isn't for you. The enzymes in grapefruit juice interact with Simvastatin and they can cause problems. So, or if you eat grapefruit, so if you're not a big juice drinker, you're actually eating the grapefruit, also something you wanna let your doctor know because that's a huge, huge caveat for this drug. Uh, major side effects. The biggest one is this thing called myopathy or rhabdomyolysis. Fancy, fancy words, all it really means or how it'll pertain to you is if you've, if you've ever had a gym sore, you know, when you go to the gym, you work out, and the next day you're like, oh, I'm sore, I'm sore. That's what this will feel like. If you take this medication and you start waking up, you know, every day and you're like, why are my legs sore? I, I don't run, I haven't run at all, I haven't gone to the gym at all. That means this is breaking down the muscles in your body. Not Sounds bad, but it's not as crazy as it sounds, but either way, it's a side effect that we need to get, we need to get it addressed. You need to tell your doctor so that they can switch you on to something else, because that's not a good side effect to have. Beyond that, I'll put up a list here in a little bit. Um, you know, headaches, upset stomach, constipation, uh, signs of common cold, all, all of these things are, are side effects that you could see, but for the most part, in practice and in literature, Simstatin is a very safe drug to take. Most people don't ever feel side effects from it. Um, and if they do, they're minor. So the headaches and stuff you'll have, then it'll never be debilitating for the general population. So if it happens to you, you're, you're like the one in a million or one in the hundred million that it's happening to. But for the most part, this is a very benign drug. It's very safe to take. Um, now, urgent side effects, if you end up getting rashes, hives, if your skin starts peeling, scary stuff, I don't like mentioning this stuff at all because then this is that WebMD stuff where people get online, start freaking out. If this happens, stop taking the drug, call 911, go to your doctor immediately, okay? Beyond that, I think that kind of covers everything. Oh, if you're pregnant, you do not take this drug. That's right. Ladies, hear me, hear me, hear me. Don't take this drug if you're pregnant, unless your doctor says so, but for the most part, you don't do it. There have been studies showing that it causes abnormalities in fetuses and, and 
you don't want that nobody wants that so we want healthy babies that's it we want healthy people we want healthy babies so uh, make sure that that's something that your doctor knows well in advance if you're going to become pregnant or if you are pregnant make sure your doctor knows because that's that's a huge no-no okay but I think that's it that, that's it I think that's the one-on-one systemostatin guys um, beyond this just make sure that you're you know the medicine won't do its job alone make sure that you change your diet make sure you add exercise to it you do all of that together and then you can get off the drug right this is not something you want to be on for the rest of your life which it's a long-term drug you got to take it every single day but our goal here is to get off the medication we don't want you to keep taking the medications that's not the point medications are supposed to be a crutch to get you to where you need to go so if you're trying to lower your cholesterol levels this will help but it's not going to do it alone okay as usual, if you have any more in-depth questions, please call your doctor, please call your local pharmacy, or call us here at Telfair Specialty Pharmacy, and we'd love to chat with you about it, and good health and living to you guys. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, and leave any comments if you have any. Thank you, guys.